Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video today. As you can see, we're hopping back in Item Hunter, and I know just the other day we made an Item Hunter video, but there is the new Mars event out, and I wanted to get as far in that, far done as we possibly can. So, we've been up for only 18 hours, 4 minutes, we received one chest. So, 18 hours and 4 minutes, I checked yesterday to see if the mine was up, it wasn't, so it's been a day and some, whatever. Um, we got two chests, both common chests, nothing leveled up, that kind of sucks. Okay, so here, so what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and activate these guys, uh, unlock finished, we're going to go ahead and unassign that, and we'll buy as many mines as we can, um, and throw on a couple good advi advisors, or managers, sorry, but I don't want to go too far into this here. Then obviously we'll spend the rest of our money upgrading that. Let's try to get, let's wait for that. Okay. Expeditions, go ahead and collect. We got 10 times income for 5 minutes and 16 super cash. Okay. Rare expedition, let's go ahead and, I don't want to take my chances. Let's just finish the rare one. Um, let's go ahead and Mars event, that's what the one that we're going to do. There's only 2 days and 20 hours left. Not a whole lot of time. Day 1, 20 super cash. Not too bad. I just want to wait so I can do 110 upgrade here. So then everything's going to be this. They're going to be the same level at least. But I don't think it can. Okay, so maybe. Yeah, it can handle that. So I just want to upgrade our transporters. And then we'll go ahead and start the Mars mine. But as you can see, it takes so long to even get 10 upgrades. It really sucks, honestly. Okay. Well, especially because we have those, these guys are such low level. Well, lower level than the elevator. So we have so much money. If we had all that money, we would be able to buy it right now. But since it's all sitting there, just waiting to be collected, that kind of sucks. But there's limited time offer, two times value. Still on for 13 hours, 30 minutes. So when you guys watch this, you unfortunately won't be able to get it anymore. We get 4H Insta Fire Cash item. But depending where you are, you're going to get some different ice cash, um, earth money, or mainland shards, whatever. Two times it for one hour on all mines, you get three of those, and a hundred times it for five minutes on all mines, you get one of those and five hundred super cash for two seventy nine. That is actually really, really good for two seventy nine. I'm looking at the hundred times it for five minutes. That would be insane to get. Two times it for one hour on all mines. That's really not much. Four H. Yeah, that's quite a bit of money. I mean, that would actually be really, really nice to get. But thing is, like, I'd have to get it in Fire Continent because that's the only mine that we really have to do left. I could have, I should have seen if we could buy that. I think next episode we come on, we're going to have to go ahead and buy the next mine. The last mine we're ever going to buy for the Fire Continent. But this is taking forever, man. We should get it here. We only need 51.5 and we're at 48. So, okay, next transfer. Okay, I just want to get this done so then we don't have 115 AE just sitting in there. And then by the time we come on for next episode, we definitely should have that. There we go. Okay, let's go to the new mine. Enter mine. So this is basically like the, what's it called? The mainland because it's so quick. It is really quick. I mean, for a brand new mine, they have to, or sorry, a limited time mine, they have to make it quick, obviously. Because if it's like fire content, you're going to be there for quite a while. But we're starting with no money. So it's the Mars mine. So this actually looks really, really sick. I'm not going to lie. I really like the look of this. So I hate the beginning of everything where you have to click everybody to go. But I guess that's just the way it's going to go. There we go. Okay, now we can upgrade. Once it gets to level 10. Okay, never mind. I was going to say once it gets to level 10, I think you can put on your own advisor or manager but hopefully after this load or whatever we should be able to get enough money to go ahead and purchase uh, an advisor for this we should yeah we'll have enough okay so I just want to purchase one advisor three times mining speed boost we'll go ahead and activate you we need to keep on forcing you to work we want one of you and we once we get some money we'll go ahead and active or put another manager on uh, the transporter just so we don't have to be clicking because as long as you have a manager there you don't even have to activate it as long as you have a manager there it's always going to be going so we can go ahead and hire one there five times walking speed boost not too bad and we'll go ahead and upgrade this as much as we can 
because their elevator on it right off the bat your elevator and transporters can hold a lot it's really your mind that's like holding you down for a while like look 2.26 thousand the elevator should be able to hold 2.67 they can hold and i mean we haven't even upgraded it once and our mine is level 17 so that's not bad at all but we are going to go ahead and have to upgrade one time one two times so we're not going to have to spend a lot of money on that let's upgrade twice let's upgrade both of them twice but as you can see, so the level 4 upgrade for the warehouse is $567 for the level, f sorry, level 4 for both. This one's only 341 so it's a lot cheaper. Uh, but 3.3 times boost, and what is this? 3.3 times boost. I, I don't know why that is, actually. I really don't. We need to hire another manager, get you going, minus upgrade costs. We can do as many upgrades as we possibly can. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to put get a new manager six times movement speed That is gonna be absolutely perfect. The only one you really need is six times movement speed But we'll go ahead leave it like that. We need to do some upgrades to it though. Let's get them both to level 10 Once we get a little bit more money We can get them both to level 10 because this bottom mine is gonna be earning us a decent amount And then we're gonna go ahead and purchase the next mine shaft You always you don't really want to stay on the same mine shaft for too long. You want to kind of keep moving Keep moving along, $10,000, um, I mean, we're going to go ahead and hire another one, 5.5 times walking speed, and do one upgrade, that should be earning us 99, 92.5% of all of our income, just from that mine shaft, and I think we're going to have to upgrade our elevator 10 times, we'll do 10 on each, once we get enough money, we'll do a 10 upgrade for 23,000, and another 10 upgrade for 23,000, should have did it the other way around, okay, we have enough. But as you can see, each mind you go down, it's just a significant jump in in money. Obviously, so now the next one. Once we put on a manager on this guy, he's just going to be doing a lot more. Already 88.72%. You've got to keep on moving, especially in these limited time modes or mines. You really need to keep on moving and progressing as fast as you possibly can. Or else you're just wasting your time like you can move through these mine shafts so quickly and that's what i love about these limited time ones and mainland that's exactly why i want to spend a lot of time on this as because we haven't really done it before we haven't really made a couple episodes on this so today's episode is going to be on tomorrow and the next day trying to complete this mine maybe we maybe we'll complete it before who knows We'll go ahead and buy as many managers as we can. So we're going to stop here. We're not going to clear the barrier. Because I remember we did this in mainland. And we earned a lot of money by just waiting. So we're going to get as many good managers as we can. We're going to go ahead and put on the... Right there, this super manager. We'll go ahead and activate him. And click max as many times as we possibly can. So this works on the sped up mines. It does not really work on fire continent. So if you guys are trying it on Fire Continent, honestly, you're kind of just wasting it. And more the Fire Continent one would be like five times walking and five times mining speed boost. That one's really good for uh, Fire Continent, but for mainland and stuff, these are the ones that you want to use because as you can see, like every five seconds, I'm being able to do 15, 16 upgrades on my best mine, my most expensive mine that I have. And once we do this, it's just it's going to be really, really earning us a lot of money sorry it's gonna be earning us a lot and we're gonna start the destroying the next barrier down but I don't think I want to go into it depending on how much time we have at the end of this episode I guess how much time still 11 seconds left decent okay we'll start the removal there do we should be able to get one more upgrade in nine there we go one level 189 not too bad at all so that's 45 minutes, 45 super cash. I think we're going to go ahead and stay here, save up some money. I want a good miner, 5 times mining speed boost. I want to get a better one if I can. There we go, 7 times mining speed boost. Actually, we should be spending our money on upgrading this. 50 times, 50 times, let's do 100 times. Okay, we just upgraded a lot and we still have enough to do it again. Oh goodness, how much money did we just make there? Okay, now they're level 270 each. Very good level, if I do say so myself. Seven times walking speed boost, perfect. 
Can the elevator handle it? 6AB is down there, guys. We don't need to do any more upgrades on that. Doing 99.99% .99 of all of our income. Absolutely insane. Let's, we need to be able to upgrade as fast as we possibly can. Just Otherwise, we're just not going to be able to handle it. Well, obviously, right now, we can't handle it whatsoever. Um, getting better, though. I think 20, 10, 20 more upgrades, we should be able to get this. Because we can hold 2AB. That was 6AB sitting down there. So we're definitely doing decent. There we go. We finally got rid of it all. Level 300 was where we needed to get before we can, before we could extract that much. So let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's throw on that guy there and upgrade him max. 215 times. Now doing 79.44% of all of our income. And we can upgrade that guy 10 times. Now doing 54 and 45. So both of them are earning us an absolute ton of money. 1.5 AB currently sitting at. That's going to be really good to start the next episode with. We should be able to buy all the mines, get them upgraded, and then even remove the next barrier and buy all those mines after next episode. <coughs> because I remember doing this in mainline. We bought, we decided to stay here, earn as much money as we could, do as many upgrades as we could. And it really paid off. The next episode, we had so much money. We bought so many different mines, so many advisors, so many managers. Um, it really, really turned out well. So I'm going to go and wait until we can get this last 10 upgrade. There we go. Now doing, what are the percentages? 86 and 13%. Elevator looks like it's starting to struggle. The elevator is starting to struggle now. We'll do 20 upgrades each. Try to get that elevator to be able to handle it. Still quite, not quite, um, but it is definitely earning us a lot of money, I do have to say that. Okay, I think 10 upgrades each, we should be good. That should be able to handle it now. There we go. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed and you want to see more of this Mars event, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment down below if you guys are playing this and let me know how far you guys have gotten. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.